Welcome, this is the chromatography lab. Uh, here I'm setting up a piece of chromatography paper. I'm going to make a line at about a centimeter from the edge. I'm being pretty precise here by using a ruler. Just going to connect those two dots and that will give us a starting place for all of our pigments. Remember to always label your paper. So this one uh, will go into my acetone mobile phase uh, and I'm using this for inks so I'm going to label it acetone and ink. We're going to be using several different colors of marker here uh, so I'm going to go ahead and spot the pigments onto the line. So here is black is pink. Then I'm going to use some dark green. Notice I'm spotting them out. I'm not tracing a circle. I want these to be nice precise spots. Here's light green. And last but not least, I'm going to use some brown. All right, and then we will label these just so we can tell them apart later. These should split into some nice colors for us, so they may be indistinguishable later. So I'm going to use some unique just identifiers here for each one. BL for black, PI for pink, DKG for dark green, LTG for light green, and BR for brown. All right, so the paper is almost set up here. We need to... Uh, fold it. We're going to fold it what's called accordion style or what I refer to as accordion style. I'm going to fold it once or twice just alternating front or back so that it will stand up in the development chamber. I only fold it twice. You can fold it three times, four times, however many you want. I tend to think that fewer folds gives a better run because there's less interference with the path of the pigments, the different components of the pigments. Now off screen I set up a second page uh, identical to the first for our sodium chloride run. Here we have our development chambers. On the left uh, we have acetone. There's just a little bit of acetone in the bottom of the beaker. On the right I have a 0.1% sodium chloride solution. These chambers have been covered for a while with foil to allow the vapors to permeate the interior of the, the de development chamber. Uh, this will give a better run and, and eliminate some errors from interactions between the chromatography paper and the air inside. So here's my first page, there's the second one, they are identical and the same colors are in the same order. It's time to put these in, so I'm just going to lift the foil a little bit and drop each page into the correct chamber and then seal them back up. Make sure the page stands nice and tall. Uh, you'll see that they will start to run pretty quickly. You won't have to wait around very long to see the colors start to separate. See acetone is already starting to separate the pink and the brown and the sodium chloride is just now reaching the start point. So you can see the solvent front travel up the page uh, and when it gets about two to three centimeters from the top is when you want to stop it. You do not want to let your mobile phase run off the end of your stationary phase or it becomes impossible to get correct measurements. We are going to let these chambers run and develop. Uh, we're going to speed up time here, so hang on. I'm going to stop the runs here. It's a little early in the process. You can see the acetone solvent front isn't quite near the top and the sodium chloride solvent front is somewhere in the middle of the page. Just the constraints of my camera. Uh, we can see we're getting some nice separation here. The acetone separated fewer inks but we have uh, some colors separated there and the sodium chloride has some really nice color separation uh, between the different 
components of each of the pigments. Okay, here is the acetone chromatograph. I'm going to trace the edge of the solvent front because the acetone is going to evaporate really quick and that solvent front is going to recede. You can see it's coming back down the paper already. Uh, and then I'm going to trace out the colors that I see. So we have our brown, we have just a little bit of blue coming out of each of the greens. Pink gives us this nice spot down at the bottom and then way up near the solvent front, right at the edge of it actually, is another blotch of pink. We trace that and then black just has this little bit of black here. While I finish up tracing those colors, uh, I'm going to do the same thing for the sodium chloride and water run. Uh, that one, the page is going to be a lot more damp and that solvent will continue to run up the page. So it's really important to, to mark those colors. And here you can see it is, it's already started continuing moving up the page. My solvent front is not level there, but that's okay. We will analyze these in the lab and see what we come up with.